Hello Sports Mockery fans, my name is Aldo Soto and I'm here with some of the latest Chicago Cubs rumors. Now, the winter meetings were this week and unfortunately there wasn't a whole bunch of movement uh, for the Cubs, so we're just going to stick to some thoughts on who's going to replace Len Casper. We actually have some names who've been brought up, a couple candidates, guys who are already on the radar, uh, and then I guess we'll share some of my uh, personal choices, my top picks to replace Len. Uh, so let's get to it. Now, before we jump in, make sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. We're going to have all the coverage on breaking news. Uh, of course, more rumors, uh, daily gambling content, uh, everything you want to know on the Cubs, White Sox, Bears, Bulls, and Blackhawks. Also, visit the website, sportsmonitor.com. Again, all the up-to-the-minute news on all five Chicago sports teams. All right, so who's going to replace Len Casper in the Cubs TV booth? So it's been about a week now since uh, Sadov Sharma uh, from The Athletic broke the news that Len Casper was leaving the Cubs TV booth to go to the south side of Chicago and become the radio play-by-play -play man for the Chicago White Sox. Uh, I mean, still can't get over it. Uh, uh, Len took over for, uh, in the Cubs play-by-play -play booth in 2005, taking over after Chip Carey and Steve Stone uh, were let go. Uh, you know, his first uh, color guy was Bob Renly, and then uh, Jim Deshays came in. Uh, and uh, for many of us my age, you know, uh, getting near 30 years old now, but uh, you know, it's been what, 15 years now, 16 total seasons. Uh, and uh, we basically grew up with uh, Len as the, you know, the guy that was always there, every game for the Cubs. Uh, once you, you know, start to be a hardcore fan of Die Hard, you follow the team every day. There was always one constant, Len Casper. Now he's gone, uh, and it fucking sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, absolutely nothing has uh, brought Cubs fans joy uh, so far this off season. Uh, with you know Theo leading a year early, uh, Kyle Schwarber non tendered, and then you know everyone was really sad uh, when that news broke with Len Len leaving to uh, fulfill his uh, lifelong dream of uh, you know wanting to be a radio play-by-play -play guy. Uh, you know, he said all the right things, didn't blame anything on the Cubs, on the Marquee Sports Network. Uh, just said, you know, he grew up uh, listening to uh, Tiger's radio. Uh, you know, this is always his dream, to be able to do play-by-play -play on the radio. Obviously, the White Sox moved to ESPN 1000 uh, in 2021. Uh, they had a new opening for uh, their radio play-by-play -play man. And, well, Len, Len jumped at it. Uh, you know, he also gets to... Uh, gets the chance to call a World Series if the Sox make it there. Uh, you know, being on the Cubs TV uh, TV booth, uh, all postseason games are obviously on, uh, you know, on Fox, uh, TBS, or ESPN. Um, so he was never gonna be able to do that outside of, you know, maybe do like an inning or two to fill in for Pat Hughes uh, during the postseason. Uh, but man, uh, uh, so this week we had uh, Herb Lawrence, you know, 670, the score producer on, um, and, you know, he's been in the radio business for a long time. And, he, you know, he's not the only uh, person to make the point, but, you know, going from TV to radio, that's an automatic demotion. Uh, going from the Cubs to the White Sox, that's also perceived de uh, demotion. This isn't anything like blasting the Sox, like, oh, the Sox are crap or anything, just like, you know. The Cubs, their national brand, you know, global brand, a uh, global brand. The White Sox, they're, you know, the Chicago White Sox are a local, a local product here. Uh, yeah, you know, Sox logo is very popular in, uh, in pop culture, but you know, the team itself, it's it's a local brand there. So that was, it's a big step down. Uh, it, so you know, as her her brought up, you know, it just makes you wonder. There had to be something else there uh, uh, that just you know made Len see that uh, opening and be like, you know what, uh, I'm gonna do that. Uh, who knows, maybe he got like a pretty decent uh, paycheck uh, that was pretty comparable to what he was doing with Cubs TV. I don't know, or like, or you hate to speculate. And again, you know, Len's, Len's a great guy, uh, just beloved by, by Cubs fans. Uh, like there's any minimal negative, it was any negative reaction was minimal. Uh, but so you don't wanna, you know, uh, speak anything that can be like outrageous but you know there's rumors going around and you know maybe it's a uh, you, the whole corporate feel of the broadcast you know they have to wear the suits the ties 
uh, there's this, this stupid like in-game segments like they're just trying to make everything not focus on the game and that's where we, you know that's why we tune in to watch a baseball game uh, specifically a Cubs baseball game you know, we don't care about uh, you know, no offense to Taylor McGregor but like some of those segments was like trying to see what the hell is going on in the third inning here you know Cubs are like trying to score a single run here uh, let me let me worry about that um, but uh, as far as some candidates go, uh, Sethev Sharma also wrote earlier in the week, uh, you know, throw out some big names and uh, the constant messaging that we've seen so far has been, you know, that Marquis wants to have a national feel uh, to the broadcast, which, I mean, I think it was Bruce Miles who put it perfectly if, uh, if you know, if that's what the, if, that was, if that's what Marquis is like trying to, you know, go to, if that's the direction they're going to. They're missing the boat here. They're, they're completely out of touch with Cup fans, and they're they're complete, And Bruce is completely right. You know, Cup fans. We don't care about the national feel. Uh, you know, everyone always makes sense. Always makes fun of you know how the Cubs would get all this national attention. They're always on national TV. And, you know, Sox fans would be like, uh, oh, we never get paid attention. Cup fans hate when games are on national TV because for the most part, broadcasters they have to they have to speak in like general terms. Because they have to be inclusive to like you know the entire uh, all like the all the fan bases are tuning in, so they're not, they're not going to get into a lot of specifics that you know Cubs fans know about or like that that we already know from before. Like maybe there's some things that they're just completely off about because you know we follow the team every game. I mean that's what you would get with Phil Lancaster put in the work. You know radio doing radio radio play by play is a lot harder. You have to have a lot more stuff to fill in the time uh, when you're on radio. You know, he'd bring that to Cubs broadcast, uh, and now, I don't know, if, if it is just like a, you know, a, your stereotypical, like, just suit coming in to a broadcast booth for the Cubs, like, it's, it's gonna feel weird. Anyway, some names that uh, Sharma brought up were uh, some big names and uh, some actually some favorites for Cubs fans. Uh, uh, there's Joe Davis, who is the Dodgers broadcast, uh, TV play-by-play -play man for the Dodgers. He, I mean, I honestly, I have been watch much Dodgers baseball, but hey, if you're the guy taking over for Vince Scully, you must be pretty damn good, right? So, uh, the thing is, obviously it's Dodgers, sweet gig, living out in LA. Uh, does he want to come back to the Midwest? He is a local guy, uh, grew up a Cubs fan, so you know, maybe that's that's enticing. Maybe that's just that's just all he needs. Like, hey, I, I grew up a Cubs fan, this was my dream, always be the Cubs play-by-play -play man on TV. Maybe that's enough to just learn away and be like, hey, come be the guy. You're going to be the head guy at Marquee. You know, we are we're trying to be not just the Cubs. We're going to be a local or a national brand here. Uh, so maybe that's enough for to lure uh, Joe Davis. But, you know, that's it's still considered a long shot at this point. Uh, you know, there's uh, Sharm also brought up uh, Matt Vescurgeon. He, you know, he was a finalist back in 2005 when Len Casper took over. Uh, he's been doing San Diego, and obviously he's on the MLB Network, uh, does Fox. Um, so, again, uh, can are the Cub or Marquee, are they willing to, you know, uh, entice him with a big deal there to get him from his national responsibilities? Or is uh, for any of these guys, because uh, there's also uh, ESPN's uh, John Shambi. And uh, you know, his contract is coming up soon uh, on ESPN Radio, I think. He has radio, uh, but you know, he's another great play-by-play -play guy, uh, you know, loved uh, overall from a lot of uh, fan bases. So can they do enough to be like, hey, we'll pay you this, or you know, you, you'll do, you'll be the Cubs guy, but we can still let you do that. Uh, who knows? Um, there are a couple of confirmed, uh, I guess, candidates who are, uh, going to be interviewed, or at least in the search process, you know, they have come up according to uh, both Patrick Mooney and uh, Sadef Sharma in The Athletic. Uh, and those guys are Wayne Randazzo, who you might remember him, he was on the 670 to score uh, back in earlier this decade. You know, he's the Mets play by play man. Uh, and then Patrick Mooney wrote on uh, just this past Thursday how uh, Mick, Gillespie, uh, Mick Gillespie, who is the play-by-play -play man for the Tennessee Smokies, the double-A team for the Cubs, how he's a candidate. Uh, you know, you might also remember him from uh, spring training games. He would be on Cubs.com, you know, doing the webcast with Len Casper uh, for a while. Uh, you know, solid voice, uh, seems like a good dude. Uh, that'd be fine, again, if we're going with the local, someone who's familiar with, uh, with the fan base. Uh, fans are familiar with him. Maybe, maybe that's a guy. 
Uh, Mooney also wrote about a, a Seattle Mariners a radio play-by-play -play man, uh, Aaron Goldsmith. Really don't know a lot about him, but uh, those are just some of the names that are being floated around. Um, and then, oh, and earlier in the week, uh, Sharma also wrote about uh, Chris Myers, who everyone hates. I mean, he's already, he's already at Marquee. He's already at Marquee, uh, like as a studio host. Who's supposed to actually fill in in the last year if it wasn't for the uh, for the COVID shortened season? Um, but I mean, no, no one wants Chris Myers. I don't want Chris Myers. Chris Myers is your. If you hear Chris Myers on TV, all you think about is like this is a, this is probably a terrible game. Uh, yeah, I mean, you probably know him from uh, NFL on Fox, but you know, I don't. Chris Myers isn't. <laughs> Chris Myers isn't the should not be the Cubs. Uh, next play-by-play -play man on TV. He, just, he doesn't. Nothing about him says like, yeah, no, that is, uh, you know, that's your, that's your guy, Cubs fans, Chris Myers. Uh, no. Um, uh, Sharma also wrote about uh, Kevin Kugler. Uh, you know, again, probably know most from uh, his work on NFL on Fox. Uh, went to school in Nebraska. You know, kind of Midwest roots there. But uh, yeah, so we're, at, we're still at the early stages here. Um, you know. I wrote about, you know, the longest of long shot. If Marquee really wants to hit a home run here, if they really want to be known for this, like, national, you know, want to be a national brand, get the national feel, go out there and get Joe Buck. I know, I know, I know Chicago fans hate Joe Buck. I mean, a lot of sports fans hate Joe Buck. That's because, you know, he's, he's probably been on the call on big games and your team is lost. I mean, as a Chicago fan, we've had to sit through how many games of Aaron Rodgers just pounding in the bare shit. And, you know, there's Joe Buck telling the entire country how much the Bears suck. So, I mean, that's, you can't blame Joe Buck, blame the Bears, Bears have been uh, pretty bad. Uh, but Joe Buck, he's, he's good at play by play. I'm, he's good at his job. Uh, <laughs> uh, but again, that's, I mean, it's like, what, maybe like a 0.001%. Just throwing it out there, if the Cubs, you know, if Marquis and the Cubs want to set their heights really high, go for the number one guy in the business, go with Joe Buck. And there's one more name. Uh, there's Milwaukee Brewers play-by-play -play man, Brian Anderson. Uh, and I mean, he does everything else too. You can see him on uh, TNT doing NBA. He, uh, you know, probably heard him. Uh, you probably remember him from 2015. He was doing the uh, Cubs Cardinal series. Uh, he got to call those great home runs against St. Louis that the Cubs hit. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Again, he's, at this point, I, I don't think there's been any word or just been nothing really tying him to the Cubs, just kind of fans throwing it out there as a uh, suggestion. But he's like, he's the perfect mix of a uh, you know guy who's known for doing uh, MLB play by play. You know he does the Brewers games, so it's not like you're getting a guy who's like shifting gears here. Um, so you know he's mostly known for doing uh, play by play for baseball, uh, but he he is that national name, that national presence that you know Marquee I guess kind of wants. Uh, you know he's. Public. He's nationally known. Uh, does like, he does NCAA tournament games? Uh, does uh, regular college basketball? Uh, regular season games too. So, you know, Brian Anderson. He would be another great choice. Um, out of all of them, I mean, obviously, if you want to go for like uh, the most popular names, uh, the most popular picks amongst uh, Cubs fans so far, uh, it's, it's Joe Davis and Brian Anderson. Um, uh, again. At this point, it seems kind of like long shots, but uh, let us know. Who do you want to be uh, the Cubs' next play-by-play -play man on TV? And again, you can check out uh, more stories on sportsmockery.com, just like this. The link's going to be in the description. Uh, again, follow us uh, here on YouTube, subscribe, uh, and yeah, follow us on social media too, on Twitter at sportsmockery, on Facebook, you know, just search for sportsmockery, follow along. So yeah, have a good one.